this tutorial is going to show you how to paint this watercolor fiddle leaf fig plant. They are really popular right now and they're a lot of fun to paint, so let's give this a try together. I'll just go over some of the colors I've mixed here. And to start off, I've kind of traced the outline of where I want my leaves to go. You can do this lightly as well if you'd like. And then I'm going to mix a light green and a dark green. I also have a brown on standby for when I start doing the stem. And now we will start painting the leaves. So I'm going to do this with a wet on wet technique using my size 12 brush. And I'm just going to trace out the shape of the leaf with some water and then take the light green and add that and let it kind of flow together. And then grab some dark green and put it at the very bottom where the leaf joins the stem. And we're going to do that for all the leaves throughout the plant. So the same thing again, just light green and the darker one right at the edge there. And since this leaf is not totally dry, I'm going to just leave a tiny bit of space when I add my water for this next one because I don't want the two to suck up the paint from one another. So we don't want to touch them completely. And that is the basic technique here. So I'm just going to go ahead and do all of these leaves now with that light green wash. And remember to put that dark right at the corner there where it joins the stem. And once we're finished these, we're going to let them dry off and grab a smaller brush and some brown to do the stem. So I'm just going to finish these off and then we'll hop right into that. Keep having to mix more of this dark green. I didn't quite make enough to start with, but I think we're good there. And that's the last leaf. So once we're finished this, we're gonna mix up a nice amount of that brown again and get a smaller detail brush to do the stem. So just be careful when you're doing your stem. If any of your leaves aren't dry yet, uh, you don't wanna go over them too much and have it bleed together with the green. It's okay to leave some white space and just touch up those details after. Um, the stem is pretty straightforward, so it's easy to add on to. Then after we do this, I'm going to take some brown and a little bit of white and a tiny bit of yellow to create a beige color for our pot. Or I guess I should say basket. I'm kind of going with a basket style, so not necessarily a pot. But I really love the look of these, so I'm going to go with that one. Um, so once you have your beige mixed up, you can go ahead and start painting the top part of this basket. And I'm going to add some little handles on it as well. And we're going to let the top part dry completely before we add the bottom part. So this is all we'll be doing for now. And once you're done the handles, take a detail brush and some of that brown again. And we're just going to add the dirt at the bottom of the plant. Being pretty careful not to um, let it bleed all into the pot. Okay, so then I'm going to just let this uh, pot dry. And I'm going to mix a wash of green to start adding some detail to these leaves. I just want to kind of uh, layer some more green over top of where the leaf overlaps. So some of them are on an angle, and I want to make sure we're showing that. Like here, this one's on a bit of an angle. So just do a light wash over top of your leaf to show where the extra layer of leaf is folded over. This one here has a little bit more. So really watered down, not too heavy.
And the next one on the bottom left here is kind of sticking out forwards, so it's going to have the leaf curling over right here in the front. Just to add some variety to how they're all sitting. And this one too, just a really small little curl there. Um, so it looks pretty good. I think this one up top needs a little bit here, just to show how it's folded up on itself. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to get some more of that um, dark green wash here and we're going to start adding the vein details to the leaves. So really watered down just as a light wash over top to add some detail but not adding a ton of heavy paint over top. And we're just going to go through and do that on all the leaves being mindful of how they're folding over so that we get the right angle to the main vein there in the middle. So this one, they'd kind of be hidden inside the center of the leaf. So they'll just be peeking out this side. This one is looking at the bottom of the leaf. So we'll want them kind of hugging it on the outside like that. And these next few ones, it's kind of hidden in the middle again. So we're just going to be showing one side of it. And then these ones below start to open a little bit more, so we're seeing, like this one, a bit more of the full inside of the leaf. And it'll be the same thing for these ones on the bottom. They're kind of opening forwards, showing the full leaf. And here's the last one, and then we are done this step. And then the last thing we have to do is finish off our basket. As you can probably see, it's kind of just floating in midair right now. So we will take a bit more of that beige and complete the bottom part of the basket here. And when I'm completely done this and it's dry, so make sure to let it dry, I'm going over top with white gouache to add a little bit of a pattern. Now this step is optional if you don't have gouache to do it or some kind of white pen to go over top. You totally don't have to do this and can finish here, but I just wanted to add a little bit of detail to it. And once it has dried completely here, I will get some of that white and add the pattern over top. So just using a really fine detail brush again going to put two lines at the top here and then just some tiny little pluses all the way across and finish it off with one more line here and the bottom part of the pot has the exact same pattern, just flipped. So we're going to start off with the two lines on the bottom side. And then add the row of plus signs after that. And then finish it off with the one line at the top. I am so sorry I keep bumping my camera. It's pretty shaky. Hopefully you can still see what I'm doing. But this is the last step anyhow. So now we have our finished watercolor fiddle leaf fig illustration. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed painting this and hope to see you back next time for another tutorial. 